Hi, thanks for joining us for another episode of Money TV. I'm Don Belarjan. So glad you could be with us. Money TV, the program all about money and what makes it happen. But I want to welcome you to an incredible milestone episode of Money TV. This is our 750th show. Something we're pretty proud of here at Money TV. We're one of the longest running television programs on TV. We have you to thank for that. When we premiered in 1996, almost 16 years ago, we were airing on television in about 10 major U.S. cities. Today, Money TV is seen in more than 75 countries and 180 million television households all over the world. In addition to that, Money TV was also the very first business television program to also make our shows available to watch on the Internet. Money TV can now be seen on TV, online, on your smartphone, your iPad, your i this, your i that. Back in 1996, the U.S. had an embattled incumbent president, Bill Clinton, and the three major candidates for the GOP nomination were Steve Forbes, Pat Buchanan, and the eventual nominee, Bob Dole. Remember those guys? There are about 40 million fewer people living in the United States than there are today, and about a billion fewer on the planet. In 1996, a gallon of gasoline cost about $1.23 in the U.S. The U.S. federal debt was only about a third of what it is now, and unemployment was 5.6 percent. A new home back then was one of the safest investments you could make at $160,000, and the median U.S. income was just over 35 grand a year. In 1996, Saddam Hussein, Muammar Gaddafi, Kim Jong-il, and Hosni Mubarak were all in power. Iran was only dreaming about the nuclear age, and the Taliban took over much of Afghanistan after years of civil war. Mike Tyson was the heavyweight champion. No one was elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame that year. Dallas beat Pittsburgh in the Super Bowl, and Sri Lanka beat Australia by seven wickets to win the World Cup. Michael Jackson and Nelson Mandela both went through a divorce that year. Braveheart, Nicolas Cage, and Susan Sarandon were the Oscar winners in 1996. The United Kingdom admitted that humans could catch mad cow disease. Russia received a $10 billion loan from the Inter International Monetary Fund, and the U.S. introduced a newly designed $100 bill. The Dow Jones Industrial Average was about 5,300, and the NASDAQ was about 1,000, and the dot-com era and the age of irrational exuberance was just beginning. Greed was still good on Wall Street. Bigger was still better in cars and SUVs, and the word hybrid, well, that was only used by botanists. The world has certainly changed in the 16 years since Money TV premiered. Again, thank you for watching all of these years, and we look forward to the next 16. Now, here's something we also look forward to, you calling us on our toll-free number, 888 That's toll-free from anywhere in the world you're watching. When you do call, be sure and ask to be added to the subscription list of our Money TV newsletter. That's free. Again, toll-free, 888 Or text Money TV uh, on, your, on your mobile phone to go 800 or 46800. Visit us at MoneyTV.net. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.